Hi, this is David Fine with Keys Mods. Welcome to the Wacky Worm segment. Today we're going to be dealing with my favorite Florida moth. This thing is a gem. It's the gaudy sphinx. My absolute favorite. You're not going to want to miss this one. Check it out. The Gaudy Sphinx lives up to its name in every single way. This is a gorgeous moth. You are not gonna confuse this moth with any other species in South Florida, okay? It's wingspan of five to six inches long, big moth, deep, rich, green coloration on the forewing. The hind wing's got this beautiful red and blue and kind of golden coloration. Underside's got this like key lime pie thing going on. This is kind of a cool color on the other side. And even the spiracles going down the abdomen have, are silver. It's just a beautiful moth. Not very commonly found in South Florida, although I think they're a lot more common than they show up because they just don't come to lights very often. So they feed on grapes. Uh, vines in the grape fam family, Ampelopsis, Cissus, things like that. A possum grape is where I found a uh, caterpillar on just last year. And it's a beautiful moth. The caterpillar of the gaudy sphinx is every bit as cool as the adult. Uh, when they're young, they've got this horn just like most sphinx species do. But in the final instars, the caterpillar loses that horn and it's a brown caterpillar, a mottled brown caterpillar. Looks just like a viper. And so now you're dealing with a four or five inch, big, fat, uh, viper looking caterpillar. And, uh, and it's, it blends in nicely with its environment. But boy, when it's disturbed, you wanna see a mimicry thing take place, check this out. First of all, where the caterpillar used to have this sphinx-like horn appendage on the rear side, uh, now there's like this little piece of like reflective skin where that horn used to be. And what it'll do when it's disturbed, it'll actually flicker that little piece of skin to get the attention of the predator. Well, it's almost like a bait and switch thing going on because once the predator looks over at that little flashing piece of skin on the butt side, the caterpillar will suck its head inside of the fatty tissue of the thorax, the thoracic region, and now this thoracic region puffs out almost like the hood of a viper or a cobra or something like that. And it's got these fake eye spots and it cocks its head back and actually points the fake eye spots at where the predator would be and totally beautiful snake mimic on this caterpillar. It's an incredible bug. They pupate underground. Yeah, they'll bury it underground to pupate and you know, pupa, great big sphinx, typical sphinx pupa. I always love these things. When they hatch out, man, there's, there's no moth like the gaudy sphinx. I don't even know what else to say. It's just a gorgeous creature. We found a couple of them in the Florida Keys. We found one in Key Largo. I think we found one on Bahia Honda Key one time and uh, one in, I think, Matacumbi Key on a gas station wall, but a uh, very difficult foot bug to find. But guys, gaudy sphinx, it's as good as it gets, man. Uh, but that's about all the time we got for today. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you learned something. If you like it, give us a thumbs up. We'd appreciate that. Share us with your friends. We would love it if you subscribe to our channel because we want to get you more videos like these. Hit the little notification bell. That way when we put out new videos like this, you'll get notified so you, can, you won't miss them. So until next time, guys, let's get out there. Let's find some gaudy sphinx. Send me some pictures. I'd love to see them. Take care.